Hey guys, welcome back. Connor here. In this video, we're going to be talking a little bit about funnels and websites. So in our last video, we talked all about the funnel builder in Go High Level and did a step-by-step -step walkthrough on building your very first funnel. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. I thought I would make this video to answer a super common question. And it's a question that I had when I was first learning about Go High Level. What exactly is a funnel? And how is it different from a website? So the biggest difference between the two is in their purposes. The point of a website is to show off everything you have to offer while funnels are meant to guide the customer to one specific product or service. So think about apple.com. You might go onto that site planning to check out the new iPhone 12, but then the homepage shows an advertisement for the new iPad Pro. The next thing you know, you've spent 30 minutes watching videos all about the new iPad and almost completely forgotten about the iPhone you wanted to look at. This isn't to say that Apple's website is bad because obviously it's still very nicely built and I personally love it but it just doesn't direct customers quite like a funnel does. So compare that to this funnel on Netflix. Clearly there is one purpose for this site right here and it is to encourage the client to sign up for a free trial of Netflix. Notice the simple headline, the number of times it says the word free and the big red button prompting the client to start a free 30 day trial. It's all pointing the client towards that free trial with no distractions. So you can kind of get a sense for what I mean by now, right? Websites are kind of like supermarkets where you might go in with a grocery list of bread, milk, and eggs, but you might walk out with a shopping cart full of other random things. Funnels are more like fruit stands that you might see at a market. The stand is clearly promoting one product and everything the salesman says will be pointed at selling you on their fruit. You know exactly what you're getting into when you go up to that fruit stand. So funnels are a big part of pushing sales and they're essential for successful online business which is why it's so important to use a good funnel builder. In my experience, the funnel builder on Go High Level is a super solid choice, and it comes with a lot of perks that you don't get with competitors out there. So give it a try. You can click the link in the description box and try Go High Level for free for two weeks. I think you'll really like the funnel builder and everything else Go High Level has to offer. If you're familiar with the internet marketing scene, then you probably already understand this terminology of a funnel. Russell Brunson, Spencer Meekham, and many others talk about sales funnels. And one thing that they mention about funnels is how important they are in upselling clients. For example, a customer might buy a product and then be directed to a web page that asks them if they want to buy another product with their order. Usually it's something complimentary so what ends up happening is businesses can start getting more sales from the same clients simply by asking them if they want to buy another product. Also, the upsell doesn't necessarily need to happen on a web page. It could be through an email sent later that day or later that week. Spencer Meekham talks all about this idea of upselling through email and how important it is to use email lists. So that's the internet marketing view of a funnel, but it's a little bit different in the traditional view. It refers more to the framework and general process of marketing. So just to give you a quick overview of what that looks like, you can check out this graphic. It comes down to these three elements right here, commonly referred to as ACC, which stands for awareness, consideration, and conversion. The main idea here is that in order for clients to buy a product from a business, they first need to become aware of the business and know that it exists. Then they need to at least consider an option for them. This usually happens by having a conversation with the client, either through message or email, or something similar. It can also happen when clients look at reviews online or compare a business with its competitors. Then finally, a proportion of these people will actually buy the product, which is the last step of the funnel called conversion. So either way you look at it, funnels just refer to the whole system that converts somebody from a stranger into a customer. It's really just a way to think about the entire process of marketing. Whether that happens in a single series of landing pages or over time through phone calls, emails, or text. So if you're looking for a piece of software that can really tie all of those things things together for the general marketing workflow, then we would really recommend using Go High Level. It's an awesome software that incorporates everything we've talked about today, and we think you'll love it. So for a more detailed explanation about Go High Level and how it can help take strangers into paying customers for your business, go ahead and check out the other videos on our channel. And make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos about Go High Level. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.